What's up guys, that Asian dude here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change out your spark plugs in your Mazda 2011 CX-9. Stay tuned for more. Today I'm going to be using the NGK's 6509. Now, this could also work not just for your 2011 models, but you're also your 20, 2006 to 2015 models as well. This is a V6 3.7 liter Grand Touring SUV. You get this up and going, go ahead and open your door and release the hood of your truck. For that, unlock your hood, lift it up, and expose your engine. You want to twist off your engine oil knob and then take your left hand and just pry off the cover. It should come off like that. There's only one little knob holding it in place. Now with that done, you're going to go ahead and want to put back on your engine knob. And now you have exposed yourself to your three spark plugs. Three are here and three are in the back underneath this. For that, you're going to go over to your air intake sensor and you're going to want to pull off the connector for it. So there's a little red tab. You pull that towards yourself. You pinch the bottom. And it should come off smoothly sometimes. And there you go. Now it's disconnected. You're going to take it, disconnect it off your main. And then pop. After you get done doing that, you're going to want to come over here and just connect one of the hoses. There you go. Now the next step is a little bit tricky. Back there, as you can see, there is the hose clamp, which is this guy right here. You're gonna need to get that off to get it off the throttle body. Now for mine, it was a little bit difficult. I had to end up removing my battery in order to get into the narrow space to get to the screw itself. I had to use an extension rod and the bit that I was using is a 3 8 Craftsman, let's see if it focus, 3 8 Craftsman uh, nut. What you do after you got done removing your air intake sensor cable and unhooking the latch, as well as unscrewing the throttle body uh, clamp, you got to go over here. You gotta twist it to the right and pull up on this white latch. And disconnect one of your hoses. Yeah. It's a little stiff. There you go. Now once that's all done, you can go ahead and come over here, grab it from here, pry it off of your air filter, and then pull the hose off the throttle body. And there you go. Now you have one whole piece. Go ahead and put that aside. Next, you're gonna want to remove the throttle body itself. I am using a 516 bit, and we're gonna remove the four screws. Uh, note, you can keep the wiring on still. So the one bolt, two, three, and four back there. I made a little mistake. There's actually five bolts that you'll be removing. There's the one right here, two, three, four, and then the fifth one's right there, as you can see. You have the bolts off, you're going to want to come down here. On the last one, you're going to want to follow this bracket down that you see, and you're going to want to unscrew that bolt right there, just a tad, so you can loosen up the bracket. After you get done with that, just go ahead and pry off the throttle body, and I'm going to go ahead and just leave it right here. So with that done, you're gonna go over here. You're gonna go behind here. You're gonna remove, there's a little plastic piece. You're gonna remove that. And you're gonna pry it off the main line. After that, back here, you are going to take a pair of pliers. And you're gonna pinch this to get this hose off. You're gonna go ahead and unbolt that screw right there. That's a support screw. And along this, there's one, two, three, four, five, and I believe there's one more back here somewhere that you're going to, oh, there it is, that you're going to unscrew in order to get this piece off. All right, now with that move, you guys can see there's that clamp right there. And for the 2011 model, over here, you guys, on the throttle body, it's actually the one, you'll see it in the future, it's the one with the red cap on it. You have to disconnect it from that hose right there that will be connected to the throttle itself. You'll see it 
There you go. But now you can expect this, you know, this car has had about 101, 102 now thousand miles. It's never been changed. This is the first time with the sparks. And you can just you can see it's grainy as hell. So now we gotta go in there, we gotta clean it up. But yeah, so now you guys have access to all six of your spark plugs. Next thing you guys want to do is start going ahead and popping these guys off. Uh, just with a flathead is easy enough. And it'll just pop like that. And then you guys can just take it off. And do it for all six. Now what you guys will notice is when you're pulling these guys off, you pull the red tab. You got to press down on the black a little bit. And at the same time, pull towards yourself or away from the actual um, plug. And you'll hear a crisp clicking noise, which is it'll be making... It will lose contact with this and then you guys can pull it just straight off and next thing you know just for the rest of them is unscrew them out take it out all right next thing you can do is go ahead once you get the bolts out just go ahead and pull up take out the coils and inspect for anything like oil or water because if there is you're gonna have to replace this guy so if it isn't you're perfectly fine just clean them off and then next is we can take out the sparks you can see right there in the inside now with them all out, what I like to do is go around, just inspect anywhere for like dust and everything like that. And then the top, just go take a piece of paper, just go ahead and start wiping it off, cleaning it off as best you can. And the same thing goes for these guys in here. So you see the dirty rings around there. Just take the extra time, you know, it's worth it in the long, in the long run and clean that up. But all in all, it's a very straightforward job. Once you guys are done cleaning, you can go to the next step and that's getting ready to remove the old spark plugs. What you want to do is go ahead and get your wrench. And I'm today, I'm using a 5 8 bit. And just slowly bring it down there and just get a good grip and start twisting it off. And look at that, you guys. So this one's the old one. This one's the new one. This one is a Platinum by OEM Motorcraft. And this one is the Iridium, the brand new one. You guys can see after 101 or 102,000 miles how much it was done on this spark plug alone. And this is not even the good one either. So with that now done with, you guys can go ahead and start reinstalling your brand new sparks. Um, once you're going in there, just go ahead and get a torque wrench, put it at 14 foot pounds. That's more than enough. Uh, you don't wanna overdo it and do it for all six. Um, how I like to do it is I don't like doing it one at a time. I like doing them all in stages so like, removing all of them, cleaning all of them, reinstalling all of them. Th doing it like that is a lot more efficient. Next thing you guys can do after you get done reinstalling all of your new spark plugs, you go ahead and put the coils on back in. Make sure they're nice, sealed tight. And then once you're pressed down, once you put the screw in, just make sure you screw it to where it's firm. You don't really need to put excessive force on it. So you have your guys' uh, cones back in place. You guys can go ahead and move this guy back and what, we're, what you're going to do is bring it down, but then there's a certain way you have to torque it. So there's two um, stages you have to go through. So once you get it down, you're going to torque it like this. The first one's at six pounds. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then the second time is the exact same pattern, but this time you're going to be doing it at nine pounds torque. Um, prior to starting this though, you want to go ahead and you can see back there, you're going to tighten that down first and then get your clip back on and then you can go ahead and start doing that. And then once that's done, you can go ahead and hook back up your throttle body, which you should have cleaned by now. Just making sure it's all clean and nice. It's going to be a, there's going to be a lot of black around here around the rim. Uh, some are dark, some are not. And yeah, 